make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. So I've heard a lot of uh, movie-only people say that they don't understand why Harry ended up with Ginny. She is a very important character in the books, and yet, if you haven't read them, I can see why you would never understand that. So let's get into Ginny Weasley, what the movies got wrong about her character, and what they got wrong about her and Harry's relationship. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us, and don't forget to pop your favorite cold brew or pour your favorite beverage to enjoy this conversation, because you're going to need it if you're going to listen to us. <laughs> I need them. All right, so uh, one of the things that we've <laughs> talked about several times, I'll put links in the description, are uh, character differences between the books and the movies and the Harry Potter movies. Yes. And um, uh, one of the characters, because I'm just, I've watched the Harry Potter movies, he's read the books multiple times. I, in the movies, Ginny Weasley was, from what you've told me, severely underused. Very much so. And, and it's not that she was ever, you know, part of the trio, right? Because the trio was Harry, Ron, Hermione. Yes. Um, but she definitely had a lot more to do in the books than um, what they ever showed her doing in the movies. And... Um, it honestly kind of feels like she's just there as a uh, extra up until six where they need her to be the romantic interest. Yeah. And um, that's not a criticism of the actress that played her. That is very much a criticism on the director. And <laughs> I sympathize very much with trying to cut things down. Now, I mean, some of those books are just massive. Well, and it, but yeah. No, it's because um, obviously we first get introduced to her in uh, Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, which I... Uh, That's where we first really start to see her, because when she first shows up in um, Sorcerer slash Philosopher's Stone, um, she's not yet old enough to go to Hogwarts. She's just there. That's right. She was uh, there on uh, uh, yeah. Platform 93 Quarters with them, yeah. uh, seeing her, her brothers off. Yes. And so that's the first time we see her, but we don't really get to know her until Chamber of Secrets. And then um, you have the... Um, no, she's had a massive... Wait, I, I'm sorry. Can I derail you for two yeah, seconds? Yeah, yeah. I just thought of something. What? <laughs> I'm going to get raked over the coals for this. Um, why, if if uh, the Weasleys kind of live in the magical world and in the area of the magical world, why is it that they were in the, the London train station... To go to the platform nine and three quarters, would they not have had access to it through other ways? Or uh, actually, if you read the books, this comes up a lot in the books. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry. You actually do have to go to King's Cross to get there. It's like Diagon Alley. You have to. Uh, okay. You have to go. You you kind of because the world is still the world. They just hide a bunch of it, right? With magic, and the platform is the same way. Okay. Sorry. Oh, so so okay. So it's 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 like the secret entrance to the yeah. Okay. Okay. Or yeah. you can use the uh, the 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 the, fl um, the flu powder. Yeah. Or well, I don't know the fire the magical teleporty fire. Yeah. The flu powder. The yeah. flu powder. Yeah. Or you can use that to to get there as well. Um, no. Okay. So because I was just thinking, I was like, wait a minute. Magical family. They live in the magical world. They're they're pure bloods. Why are they going to the Muggle world to get to Platform Nine and Three Quarters? It, it, it is somewhat commented I, on I'm why they I'm sorry to derail the conversation off of no, Ginny. I just, uh, I've uh, never uh, right. thought about that before. God, honestly, why doesn't anybody read Hogwarts of History? <laughs> <laughs> the castle itself is magically enchanted, very powerfully magically enchanted. It's not on the flu network. You can't just warp in with flu powder. Right. You can't apparate in. Where, where with they, the exception of Dumbledore. Um, actually, even Dumbledore, that's not a thing. That's sorry. a movie thing, not a book thing. In the book, he has to leave too. You go. They tell. Okay. Okay. So they like, operate from Hogsmeade, not the castle. Okay. That whole line of, well, being you me know what? has its privileges. All right, all right, all right. Great line, great scene. Works for expedience, but that is not how it works. Okay. So um, <laughs> that's awesome. So, well, I think we know what our next Harry Potter. Uh, yeah. One's gonna be is just how the world works because I never thought of that. Okay. Back to Ginny. Back to Ginny. I'm so. I'm so sorry. I just it hit me. And if I if I didn't ask you now, I would forget, and, and it was gonna bother me until yeah. I wanted because you know me. Yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Well, what was it? Well, I don't know. 
I <laughs> and then I throw out my hands and go, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, but so no. back to Ginny, because it's, cause it's very important. Her character is very important, and I didn't get anything. Oh, it is. Her. I mean, obviously in Chamber of Secrets, where it's her first kind of big introduction, she is possessed by Voldemort to open the chamber, and that's established. That was actually a part of his soul possessing her. Yeah. Yeah. And, um... So and actually, Drake, well, and, and I believe they even showed that in the movies is that yeah, his movie, diary, his chamber, diary, chamber secrets movie is actually fairly close. It also had a shorter book to work with. Well, but, yeah, but um, but so you see, Jenny, I never understood why Voldemort chose her. Um, I don't know if they explained that movie, and if they did, I missed it. Mostly, mostly just because um, Lucius Malfoy slipped her the diary. So it was just an agent of circumstance. Essentially. Yeah, it really okay. was. Um, uh, Malfoy, Lucius Malfoy. Well, knew. he also didn't like the Weasleys either. Exactly, and there's a lot of establishment that uh, Arthur, the dad, is harassing him a lot over, well, him being a dick. <laughs> and um, so a great actor, though. He was. Oh, he was great. But um, no, and so he slips her the diary, knowing that this is a very powerful, you know, dark object, and that it, you know, cause a lot of havoc for the Weasleys in particular. And obviously, being you know a Death Eater, he didn't care about. Yeah. Killing mudbloods at Hogwarts either. Right. So, yeah. Um, and, and so so we get introduced to her in Chamber of Secrets. She's, and she's very much kind of, she's almost kind of that damsel trope in that Harry, you know, has to go save her in the yeah. Chamber of Secrets. And it's played very much as that's Ron's sister. And then in um, books uh, three and four, she has a fairly small role, mostly bit parts. Okay, I don't um, remember her much in Prisoner of Azkaban or it's she's not Goblet of there. Fire. She's not, I think she had a couple of parts like, oh, she's still in the background. My question is, is how do we go from Ginny Weasley being saved in the Chamber of Secrets to Ginny Weasley marrying Harry Potter? Well, how does three, that... I don't... It's in three... Because... Um, that you start to see a little bit more of her in a more normal sense, though she's so... You know, she's got such a crush on uh, Harry that she has a hard time speaking to him. Like, knocks things over, stutters. They did show that somewhat in... Only in a little bit in two, as far as I'm aware. No, no. What was the one where she gets really excited because Harry's uh, that's the Quidditch World Cup, which would have been Goblet of Fire. That would have been Goblet so of they, Fire. So they introduce, they, they introduce her crush in kind of in Goblet of Fire. Gotcha. Um, I th- Yeah. Yeah. And you know, that's where he because that's when he says diagonally and and, Diagon Alley. No, but but no, but he says diagonally, yeah, yeah, right. And ends up, but yeah, that's in two. Um, that isn't wait, that's two. Um, that's right. So I think they were starting to introduce they they show, like I said, the second movie is actually fairly close. In three, she's kind of just around, and then in four, they actually spend a great deal of time together, especially in the beginning, because Harry shows up early. Because in the movie, we just see him already at the burrow, the Weasley's house. Whereas in the book, there's a lot more that happens, and then they spend a lot of time there, both before and after the Quidditch World Cup, um, and during. Um, and you get to see they play Quidditch, you know, with all, all of them play Quidditch um, in, like, a grove of trees where the muggles can't see them. Right. They get too high, all this. And so there's you start to see, actually, an actual friendship build. And then the Yule Ball... See, and that was something that they never showed yeah, was the and, friendship Yeah, and then when build. the Yule Ball shows up... Um, I believe it's at Ron's suggestion that Ginny actually go with Harry to the Yule Ball, but she actually already agreed to go with Neville uh, prior to that. And, okay. And so, you know, you start to see a little bit of that kind of... Harry only has eyes for that uh, Cho Chang, because uh, she's yeah. a Quidditch player, she's pretty, she's popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you start to see Ginny really start coming into her own, and she's very much a big member of the uh, Dumbledore's army in Book 5, and... You I see, don't you, recall seeing her much in um, only in the like the montage sequences where you see her. Yeah, like, like yeah, she's doing, there, but I. But and, no, there's a lot of talk. Which, by the she, way, one of my favorite scenes of the Harry Potter is in the fifth you're movie. Right, but you know, it's a very good scene. But you know, if we're speaking strictly about Ginny, you know, that's really her only scene. Otherwise, she's just kind of there at breakfast scenes, right? Yeah. And uh, in the in the book, she's a lot more. And then when uh, so what are some of her character traits? Because I, I didn't um didn't, like is she is she kind? Is she nervous? Is she smart? Is she funny? Is she? Because I didn't see any of that. Um, and, and and I I can get there. No, Ginny is uh, very much kind of um, the girl next door type, type, kind, sweet, but very capable, very powerful. And as she gets older, it actually becomes very pretty as well. That's where book six starts coming in. But you know when um. 
Harry gets the vision of uh, Voldemort about to kill Sirius, which is fake. But um, when he gets that, he goes to the... Um, he uses the coins to try and rally Dumbledore's army, and only Neville and Ginny show up. And they actually are part of that whole thing, and then uh, that's why well, they go to Neville the... Neville kind of the... The you and know, I, perpetual, as much as I, I guess I, the perpetual screw, but Neville was fairly powerful himself as well, or he grew oh, into one. He grew, uh, he had more power than he was aware of. He was just so meek that it didn't really shine through. Yeah. Um, and he was never going to be as you know, smart as Hermione or as powerful as Harry, but he had power of his own. Uh, right. For one thing, he was loyal. No, uh, no, 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 he was very good, but yeah, but like I said, you know, I didn't really know anything about Ginny. From the movies, and, well, except you've seen for seen her also Ron's, be very. Ron's she's sister. loyal. She's brave. Um, she's very kind. She's she loves animals. She always treats the cat Crookshanks very well. And so she gets one of these little like magical an- creatures from uh, her brother's shop that she always has around with her. And then she's actually pretty powerfully magical herself. That's why she's part of the uh, Slug Club in Six, is because um, one of the somebody was causing trouble in the train, so she cursed him. Um, in such a spectacular fashion that uh, Slughorn was impressed enough to invite her along. And so. That's right, she was there, wasn't yes, she? Yes, she was. Because and, I don't. And again, none of that was explained. You're just kind of supposed to accept this. Because again, she went from girl who needs to be saved in Chamber of Secrets to Harry's wife. And I and, don't know anything about her. And that always sat weird with me being a guy who's only watched the movies, is because shouldn't I know more about. Like, I thought he was going to marry that Cho girl. Oh, yeah, no. I thought he was going to marry her because we saw more of her and more interaction with her or in the movies Luna. than we did. Yeah, actually, that Luna, yeah, that would have yeah. been really cool. But, but, yeah, no, the Luna thing is, um, you know, I, I feel like, obviously, you know, the character and then because she's a new character, you're establishing that. I get that. And then uh, but a lot of um, the Department of Mystery scene in 5 gets cut out. You start to see the how capable Ginny is and whatnot. And um, so she's capable. She's she's kind. She's brave. Well, she's an animal lover. She's brave. She's brave and loyal. Yeah. And so you see all of these characters. And she's a damn good Quidditch player. And when uh, Harry becomes a Quidditch captain in six, um, that's why he, uh, you know, I, what is, is she plays seeker, which is his position mm-hmm. in five after Umbridge bans him. And then when uh, he gets to come play again in six after Umbridge gets ousted, um, he keeps her on as a chaser. And so you start to see that bond. Now they have a shared interest again as well. They both really love Quidditch. I didn't know she played Quidditch. If it was That's in- why in book, movie six, and it's real brief when you see Harry as captain. And he said they're trying to get attention, and she goes, shut it. And everybody kind of pays attention. Oh, yeah. That's actually a scene from the books. I don't think it played out quite like that, but yeah. Oh, yeah. See, and none of that, like I said, there's so much in the books. And I mean, at this point, I would have liked to have seen a lot more with her because just guys seeing the movies, who's Harry marrying? Did he just marry his best friend's little sister? Because, I mean, because it it came, I'm sorry, in the movies, at the end, it it came across as just creepy to me. And And even though. There's a lot more development, and there's a big struggle with Harry's internal logic on that one, too. Who is Ginny? Who is Ginny Weasley? Why is Harry attracted to her? Obviously, she's Ron's sister, but there's got to be more of that. These well, are questions also, I've never known. It kind of struck Harry, you know, towards the end a bit, too, because um, there's a part where they cut through one of the many passages that are shortcuts throughout the castle mm-hmm. and catch her making out with one of the uh, other Gryffindors, Dean Thomas, the tall uh, black boy. Okay, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And then Harry all of a sudden goes... He gets like this massive pang of jealousy and he goes, nope, 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 just feeling like an older brother, nope, nope, nope. And you watch him really struggle. That's why he doesn't ask her to Slughorn's like Christmas party either. It's why he takes Luna. Well, see, and it's that's... because he's really fighting this. Because, and, then... and that's what I always kind of thought. I was like, but wait, because I always got that like brotherly vibe. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're married and I was like, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Hold no, on. there's a. It's I was a like, hold on, there's some Rule 34 stuff happening. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes our monetization. It oh. was just weird man but it no, was just it's, a weird in the movie weird, yeah but, monetization yeah right. you're funny but no actually <laughs> keep in mind in the books they actually only date for like three four weeks at best well and then obviously you go to the end of the books right and it's, but, but that's years later well no this is six that they actually become you know 
They're a couple after they win the uh, Quidditch Cup as a team. Okay. And that's, you know, when, uh, you know, the emotions are running high, they kiss, and Ron's just like, oh, fuck. And um, they, everybody kind of talks about it for a while, and Ginny even brings up, you know, you know, Hermione actually said, you know, if I just, you know, stop being so awkward and actually get to know him, you know, there actually might be something real there. And it's actually on Hermione's advice that she even settled down enough for Harry to even take notice. And vice versa. Harry had to deflate his head a bit, and Ginny had to grow up a bit. Before there was See, I, I any never, sort of attraction I never there. got a lot of the inflated <sighs> ego from... Uh, <laughs> oh, dogs must have saw a leaf. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. Um... See, and I never saw any of that relationship between them. I never knew so much who of that. Ginny was. The animal, and here's the thing too, is the animal lover side of it. Yeah. Because you saw a lot of that from Ron. Like Ron knew all the animals, right? Yeah. He didn't talk about dragon anything. You know, I know what that is. You know, Ron was, I, and but I, as, as you know, I, I mean, well, also remember his brother studied dragons too. Well, yeah, so, no, 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 yeah. but but. I mean, I think that would have been really, really cool to have seen that with Ginny because now right. you don't know about Charlie Weasley. The movie's completely gutted him for the book. There's another brother, Charlie Weasley. Uh, yeah. He's at the Dragon Train, Dragon yeah. Chamber. Oh, they do talk about him in one, don't they? No, they so. talk about and they they talk about him in one. Uh, who was Norbert? Norbert. That's was, one. Yeah, that's, that's one. one. Yeah. Okay, and then you hear about him again in Goblet of Fire. Um, I spoke to my brother because remember Ron's like, hey, I spoke oh. to my brother. So you kind of so you know he's working in Romania with the dragons. But he actually shows up. Like he's actually a character that Harry meets. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, no. And so know. that's where some of the animal side comes from, is because of. Her but no, but brother. that would have been yeah. cool to see that interconnectivity between <laughs> the brothers and the sisters, and obviously Fred and George just being the pranksters of the family. But very smart. It, no, very smart. But yeah. it would have landed more had we seen Ginny be that animal lover and that. That you know that, that the, the, competent the, wizard kind of you know Ron competent in his own right but not you know but also you know that experience you know being in the DA together and then the fact that when Harry's off hunting Horcruxes that's part of the reason why they're not a couple for very long and then this is actually one of the few things that uh, Rowling's uh, explained that uh, Rowling has explained um, that I actually appreciate is that it's it's a couple years before they actually end up married the movies make it seem. Well, and the no, book the, even the makes movie, the scene. Well, no, the 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 because we just the fast forward. Did, yeah, you fast forward, and there was obviously there's development through time. But and, Ginny actually becomes a uh, professional Quidditch player for a while. Uh, the Hollyhead Harpies. That's not in the books. That's something Rowling's has added. Rowling has added. I keep saying Rowling's, and people are going to think I'm saying the name wrong. Yeah. Um, but that's something Rowling has added. Well, I think you're saying Rowling's added. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Rowling, indeed. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying it so fast. I'm just trying to clarify. Yeah. Um, but no, and that's a very cool bit. She actually becomes a professional Quidditch player. Harry obviously becomes an or dark wizard catcher. That's cool. I always um, thought that was cool. But no, like I said, there's I I'm you're convincing me. I'm gonna have to read the books, and I'm, yeah, and I'm gonna really, have to staple really my eyelids open to do it. <laughs> but because I and only because I suck at reading. I, I like I like reading. I just fall asleep every time I do it. Which is the problem. I know, and I, but, I I give you crap for it every time, too. <laughs> I don't know why I've been like that since I was a kid. I only select books in my life. But no, it's, but, um, no, they're, um, very, very good books, very detailed, maybe almost too detailed. <laughs> have you read Tolkien? Yeah, these are longer, though. <laughs> uh, longer, but the amount of details. Probably not as dense. Yeah. Um, but, but, but no, the. They're also See, Ginny, because I, cause I, I, I wanted to know who Ginny Weasley was. And this is, why does she marry, you know, own, over Luna? Because you got to you see, you know, Luna. Uh, again, and it's all these small things. And there's there's a bunch over the course of the novels. But they're both are. Quidditch players. Obviously, he spent time in the house at the Weasleys. So he knows her on a more personal level. Yes. He's seen different sides of her than just a relationship side. And she is kind. She's also powerful in her own right. She's loyal to a T. Didn't get any of that from the movies. Oh, and she was pissed. She was pissed when Harry refused to take her along on the Horcrux hunt. And, you know, obviously everybody... But, so we never got to, <laughs> to see this established, mature young woman yeah, well, in her. We had Hermione, and Hermione, which we spoke about the disservice that they did with Emma Watson and that character already. Oh, they they robbed that character of any growth. But, but, but Hermione um, was the, Hermione the, the, token, fe the, the yeah. token female. Hermione ex machina. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was Hermione, you know, ex machina or ex machina. But 
Hermione was the token female, and that just substituted for all the other female actresses that could have been in the movie that could have actually played a pivotal role. Oh, I know. And, and I don't and like that. That's wrong, and it's bad, and it would have been really cool see, to see and that. Even in the background, like, when, um... In 7, when, you know, Voldemort essentially has control of Hogwarts and Snape is headmaster, which was actually probably a good thing in retrospect. He would have kept things from going too far. I actually think that was the point. I, well, absolutely I was think the that's, point. I think that it wasn't, that a, was wasn't that a discussion between yeah. Snape, Snape and, and Dumbledore? Yeah. He's like, and I, that was, we will, yes, that scene alone I could talk about, even in the movies. Oh, yeah. I could talk about that scene but alone. For, when, uh, but and, and when, and uh, Ginny, Ginny and Ginny is uh, leading a resistance with Neville against the Death Eaters running the school in that. You hear about it, and, um, Friend George talk about it on a radio show and whatnot and all that. So you get to see a lot more of what she does. And again, she's not a main character, so you don't get the same, you know. No, but she was a lot. But, but she wasn't this C character either. No, she no. was like a B plus character for yes. sure. And it's built up a lot more. And also, some of that I think, and I know we're over time here, but I think the movies very much decided that Emma Watson was their leading lady, and they kind of diminished everybody else to make her a star, which is just wrong. Yeah. Because they didn't... Harry was the leading man, but we still got to see a lot of ma other male actors. Oh, indeed. And yet... You, you know, know, Malfoy, Neville... Um, Ron. Ron. As such as he was. Well, well uh, yeah. I still have issues with Ron, but... But, um, but no, but we still got to see a lot of the other male actors, but Hermione was just good enough for all the... Yeah, and that's there uh, also because um, Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson had a good on-screen chemistry... That's where... I'm getting you, sick of hearing that word. All right. But that's where you get the whole, way, you know, kind of, well, you know, out of left field vibe is because... I... That's really interesting. I actually like... I like having these conversations because I learn a lot about these characters yeah. that I didn't know about. And I enjoy that. I enjoy being able to learn. And hopefully you guys like it, especially when he does uh, some of these talks on uh, Harry Potter. Because there's a lot... Because he and I, we've had conversations for years. And he goes, no, in the books it was different. In the No, they didn't use that. They didn't use this. And I'm like, man, I just didn't like these things. And he goes, yeah, because the movies did it wrong. And then he tells me a lot. <laughs> I've, I've actually never learned about Ginny up until today. Um, well, there's nothing to learn. But I like movies. learning about this stuff. And now I go... I actually like that character now. She's a Quidditch player. She's pretty powerful in her own right. She's actually which a makes character. Sense. Harry's a Quidditch player and powerful. She's a Quidditch player and uh, and powerful. They're both brave and, they're, and loyal. They're both, they're both brave and loyal. They're both the Gryffindors. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I and like that. That's really cool. And so. so, yeah. No, in the movies, she's a plot device. She shows up whenever the plot needs her. In the book, she's an actual character. Well, and that seems to be what the movies did wrong. So, yes. thank you guys so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. And if you liked this A Drink With Crazy, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. And also comment and uh, fill me in on some things about Harry Potter. Yeah, anything I And missed. anything you guys want to talk about Harry Potter that we haven't already talked about, which we'll put links in the description below, Let let especially let me know because I love learning about this stuff. Or I, any other book movie discussions you'd like to see done. Yeah, so. exactly. Comment down below, let us know, and we will see you guys next time right here on a drink with crazy cheers thank you for watching a drink with crazy if you liked the conversation make sure to click here to see more